today we're going to bottle feed little Frenchy puppy. And uh, it's really straightforward, but there's a few things that are kind of kind of useful to know. The first thing is just a regular feeding bottle for a human baby is perfect. These little pet bottles that they have with tiny little nipples, absolute waste of time. You think that this nipple's way too big for this little puppy's mouth, but it's absolutely not, and you're going to see here in a moment. So what I use is this product here. I buy it from Amazon. It's very inexpensive. And it's so easy to use because it's a powder. It means that I can just mix up exactly what I need. And right here I've got about a third of a scoop. And I say a scoop. I've got about a third of a scoop of the goat's milk. I turn the hot the water on, make it nice and hot, pour that in here, stir it up, stir it up. And I've literally made what I need in a matter of a few, you know, tens of seconds. And then whatever I don't use, I can then just throw away. I'm not wasting any. So Tammy's saying to me, always test it. So the other thing is you can put your hand on this and you can feel it's nice and warm. You can also go like that and make sure it's not going to burn you. Now you can see this is actually flowing a bit more than I'd like. See that there? But So you've got to be careful that you don't overload the puppy. But that you can even with one with a hole in it, it's a little bit big, it's still not a problem. Okay. So the next problem you'll find is, is getting, now this puppy's used to this, so it's probably not going to be that big a deal. But the puppy, typically, this guy's going to lick on it, he's going to like it. But it can be a problem the first time you do this, this does not feel like mama's nipple. And so they're reluctant to put it in their mouth. It's probably because it's cold or because it's, it's silicone and not, not, not flesh. But whatever the reason, getting the puppy to accept this the first time can be a bit of an issue. But there's a simple solution. You'll always find that a healthy puppy will immediately suckle on your finger. It notices that it's nice and warm, and it'll just take my finger, and then, there it is, right there. And what I can now do is I could cheat. Whoops. Oops. What is this again? It's kind of a little bit hard to do this one hand. I'm going to, if you can see this, I'm just basically going to stick my finger, and I'm being a bit of a mess here, like that. And I'm going to take that out and slip that guy in. Now, I didn't do it very well there, so we're not going to go fuss this puppy around too much. Sometimes you can just put your finger in the corner of its mouth a little bit. You see how here he is, he's being stubborn. He doesn't think. A little bit of milk on the lips, and there it goes. And now I don't want to, since this is flowing fairly freely, I've just got the milk just in the, just above his nose. And here, nipple. Yeah, so I can, now I can see the bubbles. I know he's pulling milk because I can see bubbles as he's replacing milk with air. So I know he's suckling away, and off he goes. Yes. And so I have a napkin ready because if he starts to flood, I'm going to do two things. I'm taking the bottle away from him, and I'm going to pat this on his nose. So really, the o there's only really a couple of things that you could possibly get wrong. The big one is is that you can um, aspirate a puppy, which means that he will get too much milk, and he'll get into the You can see he is going pretty strong here. That is nose. Yeah, see, it's coming out of his nose. I'm just going to tilt it back a little bit, and I'll just give him a little rest for a second. Out of his nose. Yep, some more of the nose. We'll just give him a little rest. Of and he's fine. But what you'll do is, if you get too much, you'll, you'll hear he'll start rasping. As he breathes, he'll kind of rattle. And or you'll sneeze. Yeah, and you want to be careful because, especially in the newborn, the young puppy, that could be a problem. We'll let him go again. He's 11 days old. He's 11 days old, but he's tiny. Yeah. He weighs, what do he weigh? Eight and a quarter pound ounces? No, nine. Nine. He weighs nine ounces. This is a very small puppy. He's doing fine, but he's just a very small puppy. And so I'm a little concerned about his milk intake. So it's always nursing all the time, and I think he's fine. But we're just going to make sure he doesn't get... He, I want him to gain you know, half an ounce a day from here on out. And here he goes again. And typically you'll see them moving their hands up and down. What they're doing is, is they're trying to push on the breast and trying to pump more milk out to the nipple. Now he's going to get a lot faster milk flow here than he's ever going to get out of his mum. So he's going to go vigorously for it, and he's going to get a lot of milk. So that's the problem. He can get overloaded. And really, the nipple I have here is kind of wore out. It's got too big a hole in it. Um, if, you need to, if you get a nipple and it doesn't have a hole what, in it... What kind of nipple are they? This is a silicone nipple. It's a one-to-three-month one one nip, uh, nipple that I bought at Walmart. Um, Walgreens. Or Walgreens, right. And some of them, they don't have that much of a hole in them, or have no hole in them. So how do you make a hole in a nipple? Yep. There he is again. So we'll just take that off and just let him have a rest second. What you can do is you can heat up a sewing needle with a lighter or a match and put that on there and it'll actually burn a hole through it. And it makes a nice neat hole that doesn't rip. If you try to poke it without doing that, just with a needle, typically it splits. 
And then the thing's absolutely no good at all. They just ruin the nipple. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's. This is. Is this Polo? That's Marco. That's Marco, is it? Okay. Marco has less color. He's got. So. Like the little bitty spots all over him. There he's got the. Yeah, his stomach's full. He's got a little fat little. How messy his face is. He's got. Face. Yeah, he's got a fat little belly. He's all wet underneath. Yep, yeah, he's all wet underneath. So you can see he's got his. He's, he's got a fat little belly. And, and his so. Neck. So Tammy says I overfeed them, and uh, yes, he does. So you know, I think they're going to stop by themselves. But certainly, you know, you could have a problem where they can start regurgitating and, and then get it in the lung or something. So, you know, definitely, he typically when they stop, when they push it away from the mouth, they're about done at that point. And he really didn't need feeding because he didn't take much milk at all. I mean, he took he took maybe a quarter of an ounce. So anyway, just to recap, definitely. If you're going to have a litter of any kind of puppies, behoove yourself to go get prepared and buy some of this stuff ahead of time. This is great product. It's so easy to use. It's easy. Don't use regular cow's milk. That's a mistake. Use goat's milk or a milk replacer. But this stuff is easy to use and it's inexpensive. Go buy yourself a regular baby feeding bottle for a human with a one to three month old nipple on it. Silicone. Silicone nipple is better than rubber. Yep, they seem to like it better. Have yourself, or you need a puppy, take yourself a tissue and uh, go to town. And if you've got some kids around, they will love doing it. Actually, everybody loves to feed a puppy. I love feeding puppies. Um, if, if you've got a litter of puppies and you've, the mum's milk's not coming in or she's got problems, then the next solution is tube feeding. And I have a video on that. You can tube feed this puppy that took me five to ten minutes to feed could be fed in about 30 seconds by tube feeding. So if you have a lot of puppies to feed, then and you've got to get up in the middle of the night twice, if you've got a job and you want to keep your job, then tube feeding is the solution because you can feed six puppies in just five minutes and go back to bed. Be aware of the fact, though, if you tube feed all the time, the puppy will stop suckling, and that can be a problem. So this this guy here is going to go back on Mama here in a few minutes, and actually he'll she he will go to sleep. For an, for an hour while he digests his milk and then he'll go back to being on mum. But the point here is, if you do I this, if you do this, then uh, they won't lose a suckle reflex. If you just keep on tube feeding, they might lose a suckle reflex and then you're going to be, you're going to be mum continuously. So, there we go. Lots of videos on all of this at my pups.com and we do Shows love our pups backside of him yeah this guy's 10 weeks old yeah turn him around he is uh okay here okay